Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of KB Talk. I'm Kevin. And I'm Karen. Uh, I want to start off saying sorry that we've been on and off, but at the same time, I'm not sorry because we do this for fun and we still have full-time jobs and life and love to do other things. So you're going to get us whenever we decide to post something. <laughs> yeah, I will say this life gets in the way and then my seasonal depression gets in the way with the rain That's and the cold. True. Every weekend that we want to record something, it's been raining and cold. Yeah. It and just kind of sucks the life out of you. It does. I, I, I get, especially the rain. I hate rain. Yeah, it's bad. Like, this weekend has sucked. I'm not going to lie. It's so beautiful, like, throughout the week. But then we work. And then as soon as Friday gets here, it's like shitty weather. Right? That's what I'm saying. It's the worst. So, yeah. So, we're trying our best to, um, you know stick with it and still bring you guys like interesting content and stuff that you know I, it will be at least fun to listen to or watch us so yeah um yeah. Le- keep leaving some comments you know some of you guys love us and i've had some haters but uh that's what this uh game is about right yeah i mean at the end of the day i'm cooler than um my hubby over here so i understand why haters come into part it's okay i'm the only one that gives quality content in this platform i mean i'm not gonna lie you're you're i've had one or short or whatever that like you know went off the charts and you've had like four or five that has thousands of views and comments so i'm I'm interesting as fuck let's be honest yeah i'm pretty basic I, I, I that's why i need you to be part of this i wouldn't say you're basic i would say you just you're just chill yeah Right. Yeah, I'm, you're just like very with the flow, and I'm over here like you're gonna get what you're gonna get. Type of thing. We know. I hate people. <laughs> don't, touch, don't touch me. But anyways, anyways, so we're back, and this time we're just gonna we'll be talking about something. I guess some things. I want to start off with saying first off, today, March twelfth, is my old lady's birthday. Happy eleventh birthday to my cupid our cupid our daughter our night's dark soul of a dog that we have because she's very sassy she's just like me as a dog really though it's kind of scary mm-hmm. you got the curly hair and yeah definitely yeah it's but weird <laughs> but i love her although she don't love me back but it's okay sometimes i don't love her back it, it is what it is the it's one, a mutual relationship the one pet that we have that actually loves me the rest don't respect me i wouldn't say um well they all love me but the one that shows me more like loyalty, she don't respect you either it's more loyalty though over to me that she has and to you everybody yeah, else because i you. pretty much it's up to me to keep her alive and healthy you are the vet tech exactly so she's not gonna like what i do although what i do is for her best interest it's very true so yeah i'll take it <laughs> i don't care because of me, she, he's, she's living this long and, you know, she's doing well. So I'll take it. Give me, blame it all on me. But at the end of the day, everybody knows that I'm the alpha in this household, including the cat. That freaking cat. I, I don't know how many of you have cats, but do any of them pee on your stuff, your shoes? Your I'm clothes? telling you, you are his bitch. Like, I don't know what it is. He started with my shoes, my favorite pair of shoes. He started peeing in them. I would just put them on. I, I didn't well, know. And then I, for some reason, I'd take them off while they're, you know, either being here at home or in the car for long drives. And I'd be like, it smells like cat pee. Well, before you go off on that, um, I do want to say that cats, if a cat were to pee on your stuff or, um, you know, just do stuff that you think that they're doing it out of despise, they're not. Um, so if a cat were to pee on your stuff, that means they love you and they feel comfortable enough with your scent for them to relieve themselves. That's really what it means. Cats, cats are not like, they don't hold grudges and they are not like, no, they're not. This is the thing. Like people give them bad reputation and it, it, it has been proven that like if a cat goes to your bed and pees on your bed, that means your cat like loves you so much and like loves your scent and wants to be around it that it lets, you know, just lets it go. I mean, they're cats that get blocked. Come on. That's very true. So Savior loves you. He just loves you different than he loves me. At so the end of the day. So does he love me more then? It could. 
because he gets away with more stuff with you than he does with me. I don't want this love. But at the end of the love. day, I love that guy. I love every single one of our dogs. Try like, putting on your pajamas or your sh- your pajama shorts that I use, and uh, it's cold and wet, and then you smell it. It's just cat pee. Oh, stop it! It's not that bad. It's it's pretty bad. It's it, because it, it, you're in charge of his litter box. That's why. I do. I am in charge of the litter box because he's in charge of the mice. He's like, this is my janitor. Mm. <laughs> <Mm-mm>, no. <laughs> <laughs> was it because I needed to change the litter box? Maybe? Yeah, that's what it that's what it was. Maybe. maybe. But anyways, anyways, yeah, cats are not mean. Stop really like making cats look bad. Cats are trying, their just, own but um, cats are their own individuals and feel different. And just like people, there's me who I am an antisocial butterfly, and then there's you who thrive on people and interactions and friendships and relationships. And I'm over here like, leave me alone. I'm depressed. I want to be depressed. Just order me some Uber Eats. That's all I want to do. I'm a cat. I want to sleep. I want to eat. Occasionally. Are you going to pee on my stuff too? Don't th- don't try me. Occasionally, <laughs> I want to, you know, step out of my comfort zone. But at the same time, I just want to be left alone. That's all. That's not too much to ask. So. I guess so. Stop talking crap about my son. Oh. Okay. 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 My son had a rough life before uh, he ended up with us. Blossom Sparkle Flower? I don't even know. I don't even want to know. Don't even bring his previous name into this business. <laughs> Let's move on. So today. We're going to talk about, yes, today. Today. We're talk. I wish I had a dun 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 button, but I don't. That would have been great. I don't know. That's, that's the closest thing we have, and that's also my favorite button. So you're welcome. Okay. Um, talking about, uh, I guess people being stuck in their old, um, habits and ways and it's a little harder to accept new things. Well, what's the title of today's episode? I forgot what it was. Oh my God. We just talked about this. I have ADHD. You know this. What is it? Oh my God. Well, you see, this is what I mean. I'm the only one that brings quality <laughs> I literally content forgot. into we, this world. We, t- we talked about this three or four times and I already forgot. What this is, is good. This is about to start is just stuck, being me. Is it just stuck tell in me. Your ways? Who who's your favorite host? Either um Kevin or me. We're gonna put a poll right here. I'm being serious. Like I do need you guys to click because it's important. I mean, at the end of the day, this podcast will not be a thing without you, but I also like <laughs> come on. Yeah, so but anyway, so today's episode is titled Stuck in the Past because stuck of exactly what you were just saying, that there's some people that are just stuck in their own ways. Um, and, you know, no matter what you say, some people just don't want to change. No. And we recently, uh, you know, upgraded our, I guess. Our vehicle. We Yeah, but how can you say it? Like, we, we upgraded. Our method of temp- transportation has been upgraded. We got an upgrade in life. Yes. Uh, we decided to go from a combustion engine to an electric vehicle, specifically a Tesla. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering what color it is, do not disrespect me because you already know it's all black. Black yeah. inside, black outside, everything. It is. It is. I. You're lucky I found that because we weren't going to find something and if it was not black first off, I'd be like, it's not meant to be. We're moving on. Simple as that. But then the universe was like, we're going to make this happen. And it happened. Here it is. So, um, yeah, that's the only, sorry. Yeah. That's, that's really the only way that this was ever going to come into play. Very true. Very true. Before I forget, please, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well. Because of you. We will continue to make this uh, channel. And then if you're not watching it on YouTube, just... Or on Instagram or wherever you're... If you're listening to it, also hit the little like and subscribe or whatever they have in that channel. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. At the end of the day, it's your world. We're just here to do our thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can I... Uh, let's be honest. I did not like or interact with m- some of the videos that I do enjoy watching. And that's just me. Like, I don't know. I just find, I don't know. I just be like, mm, this is cool. And I watch it. I'm like, okay, move on. Like, it's weird. So I understand. I actually, you know, put the extra I effort in anything I watch. I hit the like button. I hit the subscribe. Uh, I don't do a little notification because that's kind of annoying. You're I don't so nice. Sp- 
Yes. That's how they get make money. That's what I'm trying to do here. You know, make some money. I don't know. <laughs> um, just make me famous, guys. Maybe. Make me famous. Make us famous. Make us. Or famous. me. It's okay. We don't have to come as a package. <laughs> what the? Anyways, moving on, babe. You're distracting me. Yes. Okay. Tesla. We bought a Tesla, right? Yes. Okay. Where are We're we still going? deciding on the name. Yeah, we have a bunch of different. So things. we might put a poll um, sometime this week, and you guys can help us decide on the names that we have. Um, pretty much gonna come up with. But we want to have a name that, you know, can reflect all the darkness in the vehicle. The fact that it's all black. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we bought a Tesla. Yes. Um, and the reason uh, that, you know, this, this came up and it's why we bought a Tesla and I'm saying that people are sucking away. Uh, a lot of friends and colleagues that we have that we were, you know, that are close to us or that we talk to every day, specifically her coworkers. That we mentioned that we're purchasing or interested in purchasing an electric vehicle. We're talking smack or crap or whatever you want to call it about purchasing an electric vehicle. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's the way of the future. The way that if you guys watch sports, apparently there were a bunch of commercials for all these new electric vehicles that all these other manufacturers are are releasing. Of course, Tesla has right now, um, you know, the, the, what's it called? The higher hand on this and... The upper hand. The upper hand. This is why I have. Look at me bringing my bilingual skills. Yeah, no, my, you know my my noggin ain't, ain't the best. Oh my god, you you're very smart. Stop it. Um, but I don't understand what the hate is or what the, I guess people are scared of something that's new. They it happens to me in in sales. Um, it, it, for example, yeah. I, that's why I think I, I related to that. You know, I uh, in working for uh, the telecommunication company that I did, and you go into well, someone's home. Let me home, say something. I and, think. And I wait, you're because gonna so make you me say lose my train like, of thought. You're like, oh, I don't know why people are like this. I feel like a lot of people just are like all these conspir- conspiracy theories and stuff that the government will eventually control us. That's why. I mean, they already have pretty much control about of, of us we, we pay them taxes in our income we pay them taxes whenever we go buy crap there's taxes on everything we just paid the taxes on our car and it's more than our car payment it's ridiculous yeah the government sucks man but either way so yeah so we pretty much we got a lot of backlash yeah we got a lot of backlash people were like oh why are you getting an ev vehicle like where are you gonna charge? there is such thing as like range anxiety i guess you could say but where we live there's a free charger and stuff we don't have to really worry about it um but i don't see like there's we're being a little bit more green over uh, there is you know something bad about using lithium or the way we obtain lithium but whatever the case is in general we're not producing like a ton of co2 um yeah there's always going to be a good and a bad side of things yeah exactly um, I was on Facebook and some guy posted on on there with clapping emojis. Don't park your regular vehicle in a diesel parking spot or diesel like pump or whatever the case was. So I was like, I get what you mean, dude. Uh, on the other side side of the spectrum, don't park your elect your regular or gas vehicle in your electric charging spot. This these are first world problems. Yes. First off. Sorry. <laughs> like first that's true this is first yeah. problems but and then i got a bunch of like backlash of people saying then buy a real vehicle well the guy the guy said originally buy the buy real car i was like bro that sentence makes no sense i was like what what do you try? try to fix it then he tried to fix it but without fix it. fixing it he kind of like edited one or two words it still made no sense then he finally fixed it and then I, but I had screenshot the original comment and I put, don't try to hide your mess ups. Damn, babe, calling people out on their shit and everything. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, yeah I I will say I think you're more into it than I am, but um, I do understand at the end, like the advantages, like the pros and cons about having a, an electric vehicle. And I do enjoy having an electric vehicle over having a, what is it? Com- combustion. combustion. Yeah. Gasoline, if you just want to make it simple. Yeah, so I do like 
our Tesla. I think our Tesla is like it represents us. You know, it is something that we work hard for. It. Um, I am myself. Um, kind of like the most frugal in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm like if I don't need it, I'm not gonna get it. But you slowly have taught me that life is short, and then you know you just want to splur it a little bit, go for it. Is I mean, electric vehicles at the end of the day, like I said, it has their pros and cons. Like, yes, at the end of the day, they're a little more expensive. But with us trying to be green and, you know, I care so much about animals and the environment. I mean, like, come on, it's a no brainer. Like, I think that it's a great car. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's 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 a lar there's an upfront cost, I guess. I mean, not there's new EV vehicles coming out every day that are you know more affordable. We just went with one that we trust because, like I said, Tesla has such a upper hand on this. There's the superchargers for us to travel back and forth. What really, there's two, there's m multiple factors. The reason why we decided to go this way. We originally wanted to just because we were a fan of the idea of electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, but at the time we wanted to get it last year, they were very expensive. Uh, out of our price range for the size vehicle that we needed. So we, uh, you know, we're like, well, eventually we'll buy one. Uh, and then they went down this past year, the beginning of the year, they, they price cuts a lot. Yeah. Um, we even towards the end of the year had <laughs> the sales guy, remember he was like texting me like, oh, we have this much discount, this much discount. You remember? Yeah, but Super it's pushy. still even like that discount was not as good it's as not, like when exactly, we bought it. Exactly. We, we almost did it, but no. Yeah. And um, third, we went up to Maryland, which a normal gas car, we spent maybe 150 bucks in gas um we mm -hmm. it takes more than a, that like round more? trip round trip round trip that's like, more yeah like oh. two two fifty okay. because the gas the higher you go up is more expensive that's very true that's so very true. yeah yeah like two, no, 250 yeah and we were spending 200 bucks a month in gas just you know around here and again as i was saying we're driving up to maryland i rented a car from hertz a model three standard range I was going to go by myself, but then we ended up all going as a family, including the dogs. Mm -hmm. And they truly loved it, first off. That's what sold it to me. That's what sold her because Rocky is one of our most anxious dogs. Yeah. And I think the fact that there was no motor, that it was quiet. I mean, if you guys have ridden in one of them, they're also super smooth. There's like the noise cabin is very minimal compared to the Subaru we had. And they were the calmest. Usually they're anxiety crying but they were really quiet yeah um i think that that's what i that's that's what really hit me and it's like oh wow like this is this is very different um yeah my pretty much the kids were able to like relax during the during the trip um we also do most of our road trips at night just for them to already be a little bit more relaxed mm -hmm. and i do drug them let's be honest um but all together i think it was it was the best road trip we have had with them and they were i mean they, they're still anxious at the end of the day I'm, we're not gonna fix something 100 percent, but they were a lot less anxious and it made me feel better because like having them you know be anxious and not be comfortable makes me anxious so yeah that really sold it and the fact that also it was a quite comfortable road trip myself like it, there's a lot of space in oh those yeah cars. Even, like, even the model three which is that small civic size one it's it's super spacious in the inside because it doesn't have any of like the extra stuff that normal cars have. It's very minimalist. So it was comfortable for all of us to fit in. We were even debating on doing that one. Yeah. But we ended up going with the Model Y. We did. We wanted that extra trunk space. And I honestly I think it looks nicer. Like yeah. It just looks like more aggressive. Yeah. I will say I do agree. I mean, eventually, if we do get another car, I don't think that we'll go back to a gas vehicle i think i will stick with an electric vehicle if not a tesla if possible um but yeah i do i do love love our car and it was funny just like you were saying how when we you know just kind of mentioned like oh we're gonna look, we're looking into getting a tesla or we really like this tesla or whatever so many people gave us just so much like crap and negative comments of like oh this cars don't last or those cars are not good um, if something were to go wrong, you have to replace the entire car, blah, blah, blah. I was about to say, yeah. But these are people like without knowing anything yeah, about it. Yeah, they don't it. know. They were, these are, 
but they were complaining like oh like what if something happens like there's the how do you maintain it how do you I'm like and they're asking these questions that i'm like well if you do some research now that what now that i know they specific specifically that i'm talking about is tesla they have virtually mm-hmm. no maintenance mm-hmm. uh, the only thing is tires the fact that these cars have so much torque um if you're you know they're a lot of fun to you know put your foot down and uh they eat the, they eat up the tires but if you uh, we have it on chill mode now um, hopefully our tires will last and the guy told us that the, yeah. that's the only thing you have to worry about or if you lived somewhere where there's you know a lot of ice and salt uh, in the roads and it could corrode the the brakes a little they might seize up because there's something called like one foot driving the car actually brakes on its own to regenerate the battery so you're not actually using the brakes as much so that's the only thing he said maybe you know once a year every two years you just go and you know open up the brakes lube them up and you know put them back together yeah which i mean to be honest i do enjoy the fact that i don't have to take my car to get an oil change every so often and then a fight with the people at the dealership i don't know it's just too much too much of a hassle don't but, have that, um, cost, that, that maintenance cost anymore yeah no but i do like having an electric vehicle at the end of the day I don't understand what's the backlash on that because you most of us have smartphones. Most of us have s- some type of like smart, smart devices. Yeah, smart. Like we have laptops, we have phones, we have watches. Cameras. Come on, like what's the point of like when people are like, oh, don't trust your, you know, those things that run like um, straight up on like technology, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, like. Some people put their whole entire lives into, like, their laptops and their phones. Some people, like, depend on their laptops and their phones to work. How are you going to tell me that, you know, they're unreliable when it has worked for so many? Uh, So, like, that's, I don't understand. Like, I'm just, like, there's technologies all around us. Mm. There's no way that we can just stop it or not be part of it. We're ever evolving, like, you know, just life, our life like our lifetime is going to have so much more evolution than there. The people that are actually complaining to us, you know, they're a little bit older. So they're, I think that's the no, thing. No, not even, even people like our age have, have said it. They're, they're, you know, have given us their two cents. So I'm like, uh, that's not, that's unreliable or no, nah, you should not do that. Or those something. Friends, those friends are not looking for their own Tesla. Uh, well, true. But like, that's the thing. I'm just like, you don't talk about it unless you know it. And, and even if you do your research, you figure out that it's not for you. That doesn't mean that it's not for anybody else. And they're just like I said, they're scared of change. Uh, uh, me coming from selling, you know, phones specifically and changing, me persuading people into sell into switching their carrier. That's like a, a huge fear because it's something different. They're stuck in their ways, even though maybe we are better. They don't want to find out because they're just so used to one thing. So yeah. that's the same thing that I uh, that I'm looking at that people have with these vehicles they're so used to gas cars a specific maybe brand and then you find something else and you're just like oh like that's different and then they fear it and assume the worst or you know negatively from it well you know luckily like we are the very last um of the millennials so you know millennials go up to like 1996 i don't remember what year they start they start but um yeah we're the very last bit so we did grow up with no internet having access to pretty much little to not technology you know having a computer was more of a luxury than it is now like a necessity um and coming from someone that also you know grew up in a third world country is very very different so going back to that time where i'm like oh my god like my life could have been so much easier like although really i just experienced kind of like having the no technology i will say or maybe up to my teens Mm -hmm. um but now it's just there's so much more that we can learn like like for me it's like i do like the fact that i have anything i want to know i just go to my phone and then just quickly like i'm able to find the information so yeah, I mean, <laughs> so sorry. it works. I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy the yeah. fact that we have that. We have that now, and of course, you know, there's people that are going to abuse it, and there's people that are going to use things to do harm. 
but that has always been the case, whether that is technology, whether it's not technology, I mean, weapons and I mean, even have, like vehicles. Like there's so many things that can be turned bad. Right. It's always so. going to be people who are going to have bad intent with whatever they get their hands on. Um, another thing that I, I don't know if you guys know, I I know you didn't know until I mentioned it earlier, but chat GDP or this, you know, just the AI, um, you know, software that has been trending lately. And I mean, there's people that are against it. I kind of weary just mainly because the Skynet. Skynet. What? what? Terminator. Oh. Skynet. Where the AI learns and then they, you know, humans are going to end up being obsolete. But um, people are using them for school, like to cheat on school. Because you can type in, you know, Tesla model, whatever. Tesla versus combustion engine or regular you gas You mean car. like to like make their homework? Yeah, like um. write me and write me a five page essay. Then you literally give it a specific and it'll write it all out. Hey, that's pretty cool. I hated typing essays. Yeah. I even just thinking about them. So I'll take that. But I'll be stuck in my way for that because that's kind of uh, that sucks that I had to do that. And these people. Get yeah, to but that's, uh, that's the beauty of like evolution. You know, like we're constantly evolving. So the things the way that things were when you learn them are going to be different now. And they're going to be different like even a few years from now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. I like having my smartphones. I like I wake up in the morning. Siri put like my watch on like it's pretty much muscle memory at this point um i rely on my watch to make sure like you message me you text me you, you're calling me like people are like that's where i look at um it saves me a lot of trouble and even like when i'm at work and a lot of times unfortunately because of what i do i'm like hands-on with an animal i'm not going to be able to pick up my phone or go to my phone or have my phone available with me at all times so having my watch like makes a huge huge difference and it helps out like you have had we have had multiple um unfortunately multiple emergencies where you're trying to contact me and i'm like i'm a phone i mean i'm at work and i don't have my phone so i'm like okay whatever i don't care but then as soon as i look at my watch and he's constant messaging 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 and he tells me something about like an emergency that's it i drop everything and if it wasn't because i have this little thing Talk about my mountain biking accident, aren't you? Oh uh, well, just in general, like a lot. That's how a lot of things, you know. That's how I know a lot of stuff. Right. right. Um. So I I do like the fact that I have, um. I will say you can say I'm up to date on things for the most part, because it makes my life a little bit easier, and I just feel like, you know, because of technology, we're also closer to people that are not close to us in person. Very true. And I do enjoy that. I mean, because of technology, we worked out. We FaceTime every Our day. Our long distance <laughs> relationship. Un- FaceTime, you mean Skype? Well, we Skype. We started and then, with Skype. Then we moved to FaceTime. Then we got hip to Apple, so. And yeah, but that's the thing. It's like technology can be a really, really great thing just because someone doesn't like it or someone doesn't know about it doesn't mean that that's where it Just stops. it's different. Yeah, there's uh, so many things that are different. Yeah. I'm different. I'm, I'm different. different. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm different. different. <laughs> I was I, I, going back to that. I saw someone on uh, it was on a YouTube video talking about the whole charging network of Tesla, and some guy commented on there like, "Oh, I I always make it my priority or like part of my day whenever I see people at those chargers just to wave at them." in pity because they have to sit there i'm like it's like 15 minutes it is not that yeah, hard it takes 15 minutes if you want that is a, if you don't charge it at home right it's not you're not going to buy these cars to supercharge them every single day because that's just stupid it costs just as much to fill up a car well not as much well but, you know what i hate it first off you're talking about putting gas as a woman i don't want to put gas i don't want like freaking men to start hitting on me and try to follow me like no i don't want that and if i can just charge my car at, at home and never freaking go to a gas station best believe i would like there's so much that happens at gas stations women get kidnapped people get robbed you know people get killed like so much shit i don't want to go to a gas station you can keep your gas stations i'm fine i'll just go for the drinks yeah <laughs> <laughs> i need an energy drink i'll go to 7-eleven that's it <laughs> Oh, geez. <laughs> but that's true. Like, think about it. There's like people are like, oh, you know, you sit there like you waste time like charging your car. And I'm like, 
okay. First off, it's mainly for long distance. Like when, like when we went to Maryland, we stopped like three or four times and it actually made the ride. It did make it longer, but it made it more tolerable because you're not oh, yeah. just sitting all the time. You actually step out, you walk around. The, the kids loved it. The, yeah, the dogs loved it. And, um, you know, you're like Tesla's for, um, specifically have entertainment on there. There's games. You can connect Netflix, Hulu, all you know, all the uh, what's it called entertainment yeah so all like the streaming platform streaming platform um yeah. but yeah i feel like i like i like how technology has come you know to our lives and i do i feel like we're very very lucky to be part of that generation that had a little bit of both had a little bit of no internet had you know we had to go outside and keep ourselves entertained and now that i think about that was quite dangerous i got lost a few times just wandering <laughs> off <laughs> I was bad. What? what do you mean? I was bad. I would get bored and I would just wander off. Like if I was at the mall with like my mom or something, I would just wander off and then I'll get lost. You would like sit in Ice Age where you go. No, seriously. <laughs> like it was bad. And then at one point, uh, you know, I will get hurt all the time. I'll get bored. So then I'll start doing something and I'll have an accident. And yeah, like I, I mean, I would say I still... I love that I have those experiences and, and you know, I'm able to, like, make fun of now, um, especially here. But I, l- I like that we, you know, we're not just, we didn't just experience that. We experienced having cell phones and, you know, being able to text each other and not think about, like, oh, I only have, like, this amount of text messages. I Call can't me after 9 p.m. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have AT&T as well? No? You have Sprint? Don't call me after nine. But that's the thing. It's like I love that now because of technology, we are closer to our friends and family. It's the ones that matter. The ones that don't matter, they're just going to stalk you on Facebook and Instagram through like oh fake God, accounts. Yes. And <laughs> Now that I'm back on Facebook, I have all these old family members <laughs> adding me and stuff that I've never spoken to. Ah, why? <laughs> I will say I like social media. I'm never going to not like be part of social media. I enjoy it to a certain level. Also, you know, if eventually Instagram want to start paying me, I would like, oh, yes, I'll you take get, it. But well, it, it's, it's tough. But it's tough. Now you, yeah. think now they even you can just the, buy. Your now you can buy the verification. It's stupid. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, that's why some people are influencers. Some people are not influencers or some people are like, you can say Internet famous and some are not like make us famous it, people. <laughs> at least me. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but but yeah, like I do like the fact that, you know, we have that. As like in a, that that kind of lifestyle, right? Yeah, and, and I enjoy it, and you know I'm very grateful that because of that we are able to stay together, yeah, and stay connected, even with family that live in like another country. Imagine like I look at it, I was like, imagine if I could not talk with like my family or I couldn't keep up with you know their lives and. Kind of be up to date on what's, what's going on in their lives. Like, it will suck having someone that you care for and you don't know anything about because you cannot physically see them in person. Mm-hmm. So. I agree. Yeah. I mean, going back to being stuck in their ways, I mean, it's just accepting this new technology instead of against it when, you know, COVID came out and the vaccine was being developed and how quickly it came out. We're, we have all this technology. So, obviously it was easier to make a vaccine. Oh, my God. When people were saying that the vaccines were just injecting it chipped into you, I was Bro. like, first of all, that's cool. I will take it. If my chip can just, like, recognize everything I do. and like Elon Musk is developing that chip, I think, that neuro chip. I don't oh, know I wouldn't po- get it. Uh, I wouldn't get it in my brain. Have you seen the people that put the little implant in their if thing, I, if in their I, hand? Yeah, NFC I've seen that. To, like, open up their house and all that? I've seen that. Like, at the end of the day... I mean, some people are going to go for it. It is what it is. I would do it. I would do, it. <laughs> I would do like, Elon, if, Elon. I, if I can get it on a, on a like, um, you know, an extremity, I'd be like, okay, cool. It is what it is. Like uh, that, I kind of can manage. But if I get it in my brain, that affects everything. That's a little bit different. If I can, first off, look at it like birth control wise. If the birth control implants for women, like, sometimes do their own thing and migrate and you know cause fucking problems it's like actually, you never know 
There's actually a movie. I forget what that movie was called, where like some guy was like paralyzed after it's, it's obviously in the, it took place slightly in the future, but they put like some neurochip in him to help him basically walk again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But then the AI got really smart, and you know. Yeah, yeah. well, like Spider Man and the the octopus scientist, whatever. Doctor Octopus. Yeah. Doc, Doc Ock. Yeah, like that one, you know. Oh, the, his little, yeah. His, yeah, yeah. It his just Nero. like it got too smart. It got it got too too evolved. So it just was like I'm gonna control you now. Um. So yeah, like that's that. I guess the fear of Skynet. Same thing with Terminator. But you know? it, they use the AI for their military, <laughs> and it got smart. That's and the it thing. Was like, some people are gonna use it for good, and some people are gonna use it for bad. And uh, there's nothing you can do. It, even if you try to limit the access of certain things, people are still going to get to it. It is it is what it is. Just be smart. Just, you know, inform yourself. And if you don't want to take part of it, fine. Just don't be ignorant. That's it. That's right. Don't, don't be, ignorant. be ignorant. Just learn. Educate yourself. If it's not for you, it's not for you. And then move on. Let other people live. Like, leave me alone. At the end of the day, I'll be riding with my Tesla and I'll be like, we ain't, you know, we ain't scared about no electromagnetic fields. No, I'm, I'm going to die of something. I'm not going to live forever. I don't want to live forever. Oh, my God. Imagine living forever. <laughs> no. I don't I don't want to live forever, but I want to be able to be like live long enough or eventually I'll be like, all right, I think I can die now. You know how many old people wish they could just decide that and just die? Like, but that's because they're old and they're crippled. But I want, like, let's say, at this age, if I could stop my aging right now. Okay, then, that's different. And then continue to live maybe 100, 200 years and then start aging a little bit more. And then, you know, once I see this world is a little bit more, or whatever, I decide to get tired and I'm like, all right, euthanize me <laughs> all right that just took like a whole nother turn i was not expecting i was not expecting to get into twilight and stuff but okay <laughs> yep no but i don't want to live forever i mean i also like if i'm gonna live a long time at least i want to live okay like i don't i don't understand the people that want to live forever or like want to live until they're very old but like at their older age they're just they just don't do anything. They can't do anything. So, you maybe, know, maybe they're limited. I just, I just want to be. I want to be like my grandpa in his nineties, taking walking miles every day. I know he was. He was a real. He was the OG. Yep. The OG. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of like our our talk, I guess. Yeah, that's you all can we say. Can. Our thoughts. This our is, you know, don't. Don't bash other people that try new things. Yeah, and like I said, we're stuck we're, in your ways. We're gonna put a poll to figure out the name of our Tessie, and um, Tessie with a Bessie. <laughs> well, or Bessie with a Tessie. Sorry, that's, yeah. what it, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, you can help us decide because we still haven't like. Uh, I guess both agree. I had Baba me, Yaga. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know, it means the boogeyman from John Wick. That's where I got it from because he's all darkness. Well, you know, someone told me there's actually a demon too. Well, yeah, it's it's I, I don't know. There's different. I don't freaking know. I don't know what it is. I, don't I just know. I, that's where I got it from, and I was like, that's that's cool, you know. I got right it. now. I have a new. I thought I have Anubis, which is like the Egyptian god of death or god of something like that. Something like that. And uh, what well, what did you think, Mazakin or Maze? That's one we have. Because I feel that? like it should be a girl. Or if not, I need like a gender neutral name. Because Our car is non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> well, because sometimes I want it to be a girl and sometimes I want it to be a guy. And, you know, it is whatever it wants to be. It's gender fluid or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. But um, So we got to name it a name that people have that is... Uh, you know, or whatever name. I don't care. Leslie. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that that does not portray what like the image that I want. Nothing, nothing that I was thinking about. Like no, that's just no. Sorry if your name is Leslie and not Jesse. Not. That's both <sighs> male and female. All I can think of about is like who's that girl? <laughs> it's Jess. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new girl. Yeah. That's very true. But anyways, we're gonna put like a little poll and stuff. 
Let us know what you think. Let, let us, us know which know. one you like. And if you have name suggestions, let us know. I don't know. I can think of any, like a lot of them. So yeah, again, and sorry, not sorry for taking so long to post something. Like I said, it's on our free time. So we're going to do it and you're going to get us whenever we have time because, uh, Unless you start paying for us. Right. Maybe, maybe we start like a Patreon page. And then that way people start funding the ones that want oh, to. Oh, we put a HelloFresh coupon code? That oh, has um, <laughs> yes. Uh, use coupon code KBTALK on, uh, what's it called? Factor for an error message. No discount. It's just going to give you an error message. <laughs> All right? <laughs> the crap that we see. Um, but, but, yeah. Is what it is, guys. I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for this is episode eight. Eight episode yeah. eight. This well, our episode eight was supposed to be the one that we recorded last week, but things didn't work out technology wise. So this is episode <sighs> eight two point oh. I found a way to make it easier now. Hopefully, it it definitely is. I don't have to try to sync up audio and video. Does it all in one, and it all goes through. If not, oops. It is what it is. It is what it is. Thanks, guys. 